Mabuhay Philippines! Welcome to Deped TV. My name is Sir Pao, your techie teacher in technology and livelihood education. Today, you join me as we develop your life skills in information and communications technology, or ICT. To those watching us via Facebook Live, do not forget to post a picture of yourself while watching and use hashtag ILOVETLE. Make sure that your post is public. And also, please observe proper netiquette. Netiquette means network or internet etiquette. Do not forget to be polite and respectful at all times. Avoid posting foul or harsh words, so make sure to think before you click. Get ready? Get your pen, paper, and self-learning module, and let's begin our ICT journey. Technology and Livelihood Education, or TLE, consists of four different specializations. They are Agriculture and Fishery Arts, Home Economics, Industrial Arts, and Information and Communications Technology. For Agriculture and Fishery Arts, we will have lessons on crop production, animal production, and aquaculture. In Home Economics, we will learn about beauty care, caregiving, cooking, housekeeping, and making bread and pastries. These are just some of the many courses in home economics. For industrial arts, some of the lessons you will learn are automotive servicing, carpentry, plumbing, electrical installation and maintenance. And for information and communications technology, or ICT, you will learn computer system servicing, illustration, technical drafting, and animation. For the first quarter, our topic will be focusing on information and communications technology, particularly computer system servicing or CSS. What is CSS? Why do we need to study it? According to the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA, computer system servicing or CSS is all about developing our skills in installing and configuring a computer system. It also includes setting up computer networks, servers, and computer maintenance. TESDA is a government agency that provides technical education and skills development in the Philippines. You may visit their website to learn more about what TESDA offers. Learning CSS may help you develop your skills to earn some income as a computer technician. The money you can earn may help you buy some of your personal needs. So what are you going to learn in CSS? Here, you can learn the following four core competencies. Install and configure computer systems, wherein you are going to assemble a complete computer system. Set up computer networks. Here, you are going to connect one computer to another computer using network cables. LAN or local area network cables are used to connect the computers to the internet. Set up computer servers. A computer server is the main computer that controls other computers in the network. And lastly, maintain and repair computer systems and networks. Maintenance includes regular checkup of network cables and backing up of files. Always remember that you must always use your PPE or personal protective equipment every time you are performing your CSS tasks. Not the medical PPE used by our mighty medical frontliners, okay? PPEs used in CSS are the apron, anti-electrostatic mat, and anti-static wrist strap, and safety goggles. What do you think might happen to us if we don't wear proper protective clothing? Harm, or maybe even death, can befall us if we don't use PPEs. So, do you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module? Then let's begin with our ICT journey. Can you see what's in front of me? Exactly! These are tools. Let's play a game. The objective of this game is to identify the tools that we need in computer system servicing. Can we use a screwdriver in CSS? Next one. Can we use the hammer in CSS? How about, do we use pliers in CSS? Do you think 
a vice grip is a CSS tool. How about this crimping tool? Amazing! You just learned how to select the proper tools needed for computer system servicing. The proper selection of tools is essential in CSS. There is a Japanese word, seiri, which means sort. We need to be organized to be more productive. Tools which are not needed may be put back in a separate storage compartment. The CSS tools are divided into four categories. The anti-electrostatic discharge tools or the ESD tools. The anti-electrostatic mat and anti-static wrist strap are the examples of an ESD tools. We also have the hand tools, screwdrivers, pliers, the crimping tool and the impact punch down tool are our hand tools. We have cleaning tools, namely clean free cloth and cable ties. And then we have the diagnostic tools. An example of this is the local area network tester or the LAN tester. Let's discuss each of the tool types in greater detail. Have you ever experienced feeling a small electric shock when handling a door handle? That experience is called an electrostatic discharge experience. Static electricity can be generated by friction on carpets, tile flooring, clothing, hair, fabric, and metals. An electrostatic discharge or ESD is the buildup of an electrical charge on the surface of any object. ESDs can pose a danger to a computer system, as computers struck by an electrostatic discharge may not be able to function. We can prevent ESDs from happening by grounding ourselves. Grounding means releasing the electrostatic discharge from our bodies. We can do this by simply holding the non-painted metal part of the computer unit. Just make sure that the computer is off and unplugged. Using an anti-electrostatic mat and anti-static wrist strap can also help in avoiding ESD damage to our computer and ourselves. An electrostatic wrist strap is connected to the technician's arm and it protects him from ESD. On the other hand, the anti-electrostatic mat prevents static electricity from building up. Different hand tools are used in performing the other CSS competencies. Hand tools are devices that can be manually operated by hand. Let's play! Choose me and use me. The objective of this game is to choose which tool is the best tool to be used in each situation. You only have 3 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. We have a negative screw. Which screwdriver do we need to use to fasten and loosen it? Flathead screwdriver is used for fastening and loosening a negative screw. Number 2. We have a crosshead screw. Which screwdriver do we need to fasten and loosen it? Phillips screwdriver is used for fastening and loosening a positive screw. Screwdrivers of different types are needed to fasten or loosen screws. Let's have number three. Which of the following tools is used for cutting wires? The answer is a wire cutter. Question number four. What should you use when there is inadequate lighting in your area? If your workplace has a limited light source, you may use a flashlight to light your computer's dark areas. This type of flashlight is called an overhead flashlight. We put this on our heads so that we can use our two hands during CSS operations. Question number five. Based on the video, what tool should we use to connect two wires? Soldering iron and soldering lead are used to connect wires or other electrical components. Question number six. What tool should we use to remove the insulated part of the LAN cable? A wire stripper is made up of a small plastic material. 
It has a metal blade to remove the insulated part of the wire without cutting it. In creating a network, different kinds of connectors may be used. In CSS, we only use the RJ45 connector. An RJ45 connector has eight contact pins where the UTP cable is inserted. A UTP or an unshielded twisted pair, commonly known as the LAN cable, has an eight pair colored wire. The question is, what tool should we use to join the RJ45 and UTP cable together? A crimping tool is used to connect an RJ45 connector and a UTP or LAN cable. Did you find our game interesting? Me too! I hope it helped in getting you familiarized with the proper uses of the different hand tools. There is a saying that cleanliness is next to godliness. That's why our next group of tools are the cleaning tools. One of the major problems is the messy cable. What do we do about it? The answer is this, cable ties. Cable ties can make our cables neat and organized. What would you do if you see your computer looking like this? Will you clean it? How would you clean it? What tools are you going to use? Are you going to wash it with water? <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Cleaning the computer with water is very dangerous and can cause a lot of damage to your computer. If dirt and stains are visible, you may just use a brush and a lint-free cloth. For dirt and stains, a lint-free cloth or microfiber cloth is best to use as a cleaning tool. It can prevent ESD and does not build up a charge. It also protects your computer from scratches. However, the brush helps us to brush away the dirt and dust from our computer system. A very common diagnostic tool that we use in CSS is the LAN tester. Damaged LAN cables are the cause of major internet downtime. Using a LAN tester ensures that our LAN cables are working. It is used for testing Ethernet cables for false or missing pair connections. How do we test a faulty local area network cable? Here are the steps. Number 1. Attach both ends of the LAN cable to the RJ45 port of the LAN tester. Number 2. Switch on the LAN tester. If all the lights are working as a pair, then the LAN cable is still working. But if one light fails, try to recrimp by using the crimping tool and do steps 1 and 2. If the problem still persists, try to replace the RJ45 one at a time. I hope you had a fun time learning with me. Let's see if you listen really well to our discussions. Let's have a short quiz. You only have three seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? Let's go. Question number one. Which of the following does not belong to the group? A. ESD tools. B. Hand tools. C. Diagnostic tools or D. Cutting tools. The answer is letter D. The cutting tools belongs to the hand tools. Which tool attached to the technician's arm can prevent ESD damage to the computer parts? A. Anti-static wrist strap. B. Anti-static mat. C. Screwdriver. Or D. Safety goggles. If your answer is A, you are correct. Number 3. What kind of anti-ESD tool is a specialized mat where you can place your computer parts to prevent static electricity from building up? A. Anti-static wrist strap B. Anti-static mat C. Screwdriver or D. Safety goggles If your answer is letter B, you are right! Number 4. Oliver is an expert computer technician. What tool does he need to fasten or loosen 
crosshead screws. A. Phillips screwdriver. B. Flathead screwdriver. C. Torx screwdriver. Or letter D. Allen screwdriver. You are right if your answer is letter A. Question number five. What kind of cloth is best used as a cleaning tool, which can prevent ESD and not build up a charge? A. Face cloth. B. Chamois. C. Lint-free cloth. Or letter D. Wet wipes. If your answer is letter C, you are amazing! To give us a recap of our topic, the hand tools, I'll turn you over to my friend from the future, Teacher Ellie. Hi learners, I am Teacher Ellie. Before we sum up our lesson today, let me remind you again to observe proper net etiquette. Bear in your mind to avoid posting foul and harsh words. So make sure that in learning ICT, think before you click. And to finally wrap up our lesson, let me remind you again that hand tools are devices that can be manually operated by our hands. And most of the commonly used hand tools in CSS are the following. We have screwdrivers, soldering iron, wire stripper, and let us not forget the crimping tool. ICT is very easy to learn, right Sir Paul? Amazing, Teacher Ellie. Thank you for joining me today. See you again soon. It's my pleasure, Sir Paul. I'm just one command away. I'm Teacher Ali, signing out. Bye-bye! I hope you had fun studying computer system servicing hand tools. For our next lesson, we will discover and learn the components of a computer system, part one. Shout out to all the teachers out there. Thank you for braving the virus and delivering the modules from school straight to your learners' homes. Please stay safe always. And to all the learners out there, please take good care of the modules you receive. Handle them with tender, loving care and keep them in good condition. You too, stay safe and stay at home. Always remember that your teachers will always be there for you to help you grow, learn, and educate in this time of the pandemic. God bless us all. You can still watch the replay of this episode on YouTube. Just search for DepEd TV Official or via commons.deped.gov.ph. Have fun! Once again, I am your tech teacher, Sir Pao, saying quality education will be achieved when one is eager to learn and is innovative. In TLE, there is life. Together, we learn as one. And this is DepEd TV. Hashtag, I love TLE.